Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Mobile Technology Lab session. So for today's lab activity, we will learn on how to create an app bar and then customize the color of the app bar as well as a system bar so that it can become harmonious according to the Google Material Design and Material U guideline. So in this lab session, you will learn how to add the toolbar over here and then customize it um, and by setting the title and then the subtitle for your application. So let's look into this today's lab activity. To start this, you need to refer to the official Android documentation provided by Google. So according to the developer uh, documentation from Android, so you need to add the toolbar to the activity by editing the application manifest file so that it would uh, be chosen to use Steam App Compact Lite No Action Bar. And then we have to add the layout to the toolbar. Okay, so and give it the appearance of a floating above the activity okay, like this so in order to do that we have to copy this and include it in the android manifest so we have to find the android manifest okay application okay go to here and then paste this so it would appear something like this so we have to remove this so it will become something like this okay next we have to add the app compact widget in the layout so to do that we have to go over here and go to the layout activity main and then go to the source code okay and go to the source code we have to change this view to the source code view Okay, click here and put it here over here okay you see that it is not constrained vertically so uh, probably this can be uh, uh, be included uh, in the uh, design so it becomes something like this not constrained right we have to constrain it okay left and then you have to constrain it at the right so you put it at the top of the bar Right, you have to put it at the top of the bar, and then we can see it. It no longer have zero. Okay, no longer have sorry, no longer have uh, the red item. So here we already have a basics of the toolbar. Okay, let's uh, run it just to confirm. Okay, here we have already have the toolbar at the top. Okay, you can see the toolbar at the top. Okay, let's go to the main activity and then declare the toolbar. So, according to the material design specification, it recommends app bar elevation, which we have already set it as this, right? As this 4DP. So we have to add the toolbar over here, okay, and then we can set the support uh, toolbar, right, okay, this is so that we can manipulate the toolbar later on, okay, and then we can uh, import the toolbar. Okay and import the toolbar under widget right 
So this uh, uh, would be resolved. Okay, my toolbar, toolbar. Okay, this is because red, red because we haven't declared it yet. So we have to declare the toolbar over here. Okay. So it should uh, resolve afterwards. Okay, sorry, it's required type is app compact widget toolbar. So to do that, uh, we have to import app widget toolbar. Sometimes the import is going uh, here wire over here. So we have to import this, right? Okay, just follow. Okay, and then import. Okay, something like this. So it would, uh, it would be compatible. Okay, something like this. Right, and then uh, from my toolbar, you can uh, set the title. Okay, the title. Okay, my application. Okay, and then you can rerun back the application. So it could look something like this. Okay, my application toolbar. So here you can have an uh, Android uh, device, Android application with an application toolbar. Okay, next, you can specify a subtitle by typing here. Okay, set subtitle. This is a subtitle of application. Okay, just like this. Okay, this is a title and subtitle. And then furthermore, you can customize the title. Okay, you just uh, put here. Get support action bar. And then set title. Okay, add or menu or anything sub uh, main title for example all right okay and then it produce something like this main title this is a subtitle of an application so this is how you uh, include an uh, toolbar to your application Additionally, you may also customize the color of your toolbar. So to customize the color of your toolbar, you can go back to the Android manifest. Right, go back to the Android manifest. And then select the style. So you can uh, select the style to match with your uh, application. So remember, this is your application name. Okay, this is your application name. So your application name may differ from mine. Mine is um, uh, my application toolbar. So just like here. So to check your application name uh, or application team name, you may have to go to this uh, file under teams. So under value, you have to click it under value and then click it under teams. And then you can have to click it over here. So you find that the name of the team is, sorry, the name of the team is my application toolbar. So what you need to do is just to copy this and go to the Android manifest and paste over here. Right, paste over here. So if you read carefully, you can customize the color. Okay, the color of the application. So let's run it without customization and look at the color. So here are the primary color, right? It is almost indigo purplish. And then you can rewrite over here. So color my uh, light primary. Okay. So you can go over here. So color the black, white. Okay. Color name my light primary. So this primary color can be set uh, over here. Okay, let's say that you prefer an orange uh, thingy color. So you can put over here the orange uh, orange color. So orange color is would be EA. Okay, EA. Sorry, this is purplish. Okay, still purplish. 
a purplish color so a new color okay just like this purplish color so it's up to you to set the theme of your application so main application title theme you can set it over here so color primary and then you can also set the name to color secondary okay so you can put here hmm. okay my light secondary so you can put over here a uh, lighter team color so you can uh, go uh, with a lighter okay and then you can rewrite it back okay recompile the application okay so it's going to be like this like this and then color name accent color okay accent color usually take a uh, complementary or color that are contradictory uh, to your application so it can be something like this okay contradictory okay color like this so very bold color we can rechange it uh, to something like this accent color and then you could put it here in the item Okay, color accent. And then you can put here inside your style. So you would you can be able to customize your application. Otherwise, you can go like this uh, when using a uh, material design color you can rename the color primary to color primary dark for uh, system bar so it would become something like this and then rename the secondary to primary color so it will become something like this okay so to ensure that the color are harmonious you should uh, follow the android design pattern document so here the android design pattern document okay you can search over here uh, material uh, you uh, material you uh, color scheme mm, color scheme and then uh, choosing color okay so we can see about the color system in the material design about app bar okay just like this about primary and secondary color the primary variant is color like this and then there is also a tool so that it can help you to choose uh, a good and harmonious color so in order to get a good and harmonious color like this you have to follow the the color okay color scheme so here is the color about 700 3700 b3 and then 6200 ee so let's choose for our application okay so because we have already declared this can go to colors right okay let's see back about the color okay 3700 b3 okay, 3700 b3 and then uh, sorry and then for the back 6200 ee okay, 6200 ee so when you rerun back the color you will get a harmonious color something like this okay a harmonious color okay to change the text over here you can also add a new item item name text color primary so you can change it to add color white okay so that it will come something like this okay so that it will look professional and then to change again to
and then to change again uh, to another harmonious color you can change it to uh, you can refer to this table right you can refer to this table okay where you can choose the color so this is uh, the link uh, to choose harmonious color for your application okay there is a color tool okay primary color so let's say that you want to create an orange okay an orange uh, theme for your application okay like this Okay, let's say that you choose uh, the primary color to be a little bit orangey. Okay, so that it become a bit orange. Okay, like this. So you, what you need to do is just to copy the the color. Okay, color copy to the clipboard. Okay, seven hundred. Okay, and then you go over here the color. Okay, seven hundred. And then uh, color for the 500 for the, uh, you know, for the uh, action bar, right? Action bar like this. Okay. And then you can rerun back your application and see that your application is uh, produced, would produce harmonious color, right? Harmonious color. So uh, I think that's all for our lab session. So for the next lab session, we will try to continue or build through this uh, and produce uh, an application with uh, a menu over here. Right, we seeing you in the next lab segment.